Well, it's um, October 18th, and uh, still picking beans. We've had a couple, like, okay frosts, I think. Being a night shifter, I usually don't wake up too early, but uh, we're still fighting some tough stems. Uh, they don't seem to want to be real crisp for us, but uh, I'm going to park this over here somewhere for them. I'm going to take a full semi in. i got to walk over there, and then go help these guys working on the top of the consigner. This is uh, where we were working last night. He's got the headlands out around the slough and the other side of the field, but uh, it's still a little wet on this field, so he jumped across the road. And uh, I'm running this load of beans in. I'm gonna see if that consigner or distributor, whatever you wanna call it, is fixed and dump a truck or two and bring it on back. We got both trucks over here waiting to dump and uh, they're wrapping up the consigner project, it looks like. While I'm waiting to dump here, I'm just uh, scooping up some rotten beans we had piled up along the field here. And uh, running them away from the farm site here because they stink. And uh, we'll dump them out in the field or the edge of the field back here somewhere. Well, they're having a little bit of trouble getting that new consigner distributor lined up in there. The angle might be just a little tricky. And uh, let's come back over here. Combine is still going. And uh, just got to relay a message. Uh, they're gonna keep picking. They got a little more room in the cart, but he's gonna try to sprinkle as much as he can on the wagons. And then uh, hopefully they get those trucks dumped in a little bit and we'll be back uh, having enough stuff to dump into. But we're full, both trucks are full. So we're hoping they can get that back together soon. Well, now it's October 19th, about 2.30 in the afternoon. We did get just a little drizzle of rain, but uh, Maybe you can see behind me, it hasn't even enough. Well, now that we've slowed down, it's not really a dust storm, but combine's just setting in, not making much dust, but uh, we are going, but it's just, it's been a battle with all the rain. It levels out a little bit back here so that we can um, turn trucks around and not bomb off the side of a ditch too bad, but uh, it still is gonna be a little bit of an ice road truckers bounce session here. You know, and it has rained quite a bit, but we're empty. But we'll just try to keep our speed up a little bit so that we don't uh, get hung up and spin out, but I think we're okay. Yeah. And we're gonna park back up here because we're just across the road. And instead of blocking the road, which honestly you could count the cars on your hand in one day, but we'll just park right here, come across the road with the cart and fill the truck over here. Wouldn't you know it, that drizzle last night, uh, or this morning technically, got us all, last night, this morning, you know, messed up with night shift, but uh, my last night, everybody else this morning, I guess. But uh, we're loading tarp side. Not my favorite thing to do, but uh, there's quite a ditch on the other side of the truck. And actually, we're kind of up just a couple feet here too. So I can actually see into the truck pretty good on this side. So you get these beans in this truck and then, uh, the combine's like right over there. You know, he is making a little dust. And uh, I just wandered over here. You know, we do get some, they are a little tough, but we are getting cracking. And uh, if you wanna break one open here. And, uh, They're a little, uh, they're a little on the wet side yet, but uh, more rain next week, and uh, you know it's about 60 degrees right now, and uh, after that they were only talking like mid 40s, 50. I think the last time I saw, them. maybe it'll get back up, but I don't know if they'll dry back out real well. So I mean, we just gotta go. Yep, just check the weather. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday rain followed by just cooler. I think the push is gonna be on, but uh, kinda stinks that I gotta work tonight, but uh, there's quite a few guys out here that should be able to keep this thing going. Can't quite see in, so I had to climb out here. But uh, I do love the sound of this tractor. Another truck loaded, tarped, and uh, we're back over to the field now. 
for the most part, we got pretty good fall colors, but uh, yesterday we had like 20, 25 mile an hour pretty steady winds with some gusts higher than that. And the leaves are really getting ripped off the trees, so it's definitely uh, crested fall time. You can just see the combine up there. Just uh, chewed on a few of these beans. They're drier back here on this hilltop, which is to be a figured, but uh, right along the railroad tracks here. And see if we can't polish this field off here in the next hour or be close to it. And then I'm running that tractor in and, uh, or that semi in, and I'm going to work. There's a couple people over at the bins and we'll see what they're planning. It's a good little chunk here. I'm sure there's 10 acres left. I think I'm gonna catch them going back to the road. You can maybe see the semi parked over there and uh, just keep them emptier because going up and over these hills, uh, it's, it doesn't look like it, but right here is a pretty darn good hill. Um, just helps the hydros and gives the combine more power if all that weight isn't in the hopper. So I'll catch them, I'll park it up there for them. I'll walk to the semi, drive the semi in and uh, that'll probably be close to it for me. see here you guys don't need to listen to that beeping which actually should have pretty good air since I just brought it over a couple hours ago and it does so let her warm up a quick second and off we go all right all aired up warmed up a bit and uh, I did tarp it even though we're only going a couple miles uh, this is nice none of them will blow out and uh, yeah just a good habit to get into I guess so, off we go. There's a little bit of a load on. And uh, he's just picking right over here and I left the grain car right over there for him. So off we go. Unloading a quick truck here before I head out. And uh, so it's empty for him tonight, eating uh, corn chips, even though we're unloading beans, but decent snack here. For a uh, newer unloading system, I don't know, it's probably been here, I don't know, eight years or so, I would bet. This drake system is like a paddles on the on the flat bottom here that drag the grain up, drop it into the wet leg for corn and into that. Uh, with dry beans, we're just feeding that roof auger off of the dry leg. So we did leave part of the old uh, U-trough auger system that we used to go all the way out to the trucks and it was replaced with the drag. We left that so the drag can dump down into that and take it over to the dry leg so that we can bypass the whole wet leg, uh, wet tank dryer system so we can put it right in the bin. So we can come over here and we usually try to watch it here. And uh, just so the beans are just starting to come over the center of that plating, um, that roof auger can be a little temperamental so Try not to overload it. There's really no rust because we got the two semis, the two wagons, and the grain cart. So you really don't gotta unload super fast. But uh, that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna get this truck not quite all the way unloaded. They can finish it here in a little bit because uh, in a couple hours they're just gonna be right next to the bins here. I'm on my way to work. So you guys have a good one. Be safe as always, and we'll check you later.